Starting June 8th, we spent 16 days traveling to New Hampshire and back. Part 1 of that journey takes us 950 miles in 3 days. That was pretty much our limit for driving. It rained every day and many segments of the road were very rough with lots of traffic and construction. But we really did enjoy the trip. So Joe, where are we going today? Uh, we're going to the Harvest Host, the Cartersville Country Winery on our way to New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And gee, Rhonda, what's strange about this trip? We don't have the bikes? No, we don't even know when we're coming back. No, we don't. We haven't got that figured out yet. Um, but we're going to. Um, we'll see where we end up after um, New Hampshire. We're on 95 again, heading north. We're going to go a little further this time, as we said. We're going all the way to New Hampshire. Um, we're leaving Florida. Here we go. Welcome to Georgia sign. We're going to try to do every state. We'll see what happens. Very, very cool. South Carolina with the palm tree and the crescent moon. South Carolina Welcome Center rest area. Well, good job, Rhonda. Yeah. Just so. my hundred miles. <laughs> Here we are at our harvest host. 50 amp service, both sides there. And there's a big cornfield back there. And grapes. Winery. It's definitely a working winery. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Aubrey. I'm with Cartersville Country Winery. That's the owner, Tom. Hey. Bentley. He's the boss. Say hi. Sounds like the boss. And we've, um, well, he planted his first vine in 09, and he's yeah. been like 19 and a half acres under vine at this point. We're probably one of the largest working wineries in the state of South Carolina. Um, we have our product in the grocery stores and convenience stores. And now what do y'all do with Harvest Host? With Harvest Host, um, you can come, you can stay for free if you're a Harvest Host guest. We offer power for $15. Um, it won't be long and we'll probably have um, septic or the sewer um, power. And we hope to have maybe eight, eight spots. I think, oh, that's we're, good. I think we're up to six right now. And we got overnight we accommodations. Got accommodations. We have a Wed um, weddings. Weddings. Soon, maybe. Soon, maybe different. Well, it might be in the funeral <laughs> you know, right business. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of. There's a cornfield back yeah, there. <laughs> we, got a, we got a lot of irons in the fire. Okay. But we maybe. enjoy meeting new people, so y'all yeah. come see us anytime. Yeah. We were very happy to stay at this Harvest Host winery. Having that optional electric was great as it was very hot and humid and we needed the air conditioning. The people at Cartersville Country Winery are great. We actually stayed with them again on the way back home to Florida. We would like to thank all of our YouTube viewers and especially those 200 plus of you that subscribe to our channel. Rhonda and I really enjoy the comments and encouragement we get. Rhonda is the talent and I do all the video editing. I think I'm getting better. The earliest wine made in what is now the United States was made from na native muscadine grapes by French settlers near Jacksonville, Florida in the 1560s. Much later, muscadines were blended with Concord and Catawba grapes to make Virginia Dare, the most popular U.S. wine before Prohibition. I personally make muscadine wine with grapes we grow. Well, we're about to cross into South Carolina, North Carolina, and here we are at south of the border. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell through the window. Here we are, passing into North Carolina. Coming up on the Welcome Center here. Probably not stop. No, we're not going to stop. Since we just stopped, we've got gas, propane, It 
degrees in the coach with the front air conditioning on. So when we stopped at Walmart to buy a few things, we ended up turning on the generator. So now it's getting much cooler in the coach. We've been having fun going into different Walmarts throughout the country when we're traveling. Um, we've been, we really like the Lucky Duck wine. It's a cheap red wine, or cheap wine, I should say. And um, in Florida, you can only get the Cabernet, but um, in different states up here, I've been able to find the Malbec and the Shiraz. Well, we're getting close to Richmond, Virginia. Um, we're about probably 20, 30 minutes from where we're, our harvest host is gonna be. This is quite an intersection here. Getting close to our harvest host. We're in Virginia and it's not necessarily flat here. Uh, it's a very pretty little area. But Joe's having to maneuver around some pretty tight turns. We're at a harvest host, a nice golf club in, well, just north of Richmond, Virginia. Spent the night and, I mean, it rained all night, but we we're underneath these trees. It wasn't too hot. Thanks to our two new Battleborn batteries drop in replaced at the moment, we had no problem at all with power. Yeah, we're on day three of our journey up to New Hampshire. Um, it's been raining pretty much the whole trip. Uh, we're just crossing over from Virginia into Maryland. Oh, here's Maryland sign right in front of me. There's so many signs, it's so hard to like uh, tell where I am. But now we're on the Baltimore Washington Expressway. And it's actually very nice. It's paved, nice and smooth. We were just on 95 and it was so rough going through this area. Rhonda's getting her chance doing the big city driving. Oh, it's just so nice. It's crazy as what you had. Oh. We're on 95. Uh -huh. uh, I guess we're still in Maryland. <laughs> it's not too bad right now, but the rain, really it seems like the rain gets heavy every time we have to make a turn. So we took a little detour to avoid a toll that we don't know how much, but it was $8 for a car, so it'd probably be about 30 bucks for us. And this is very scenic, so this it's is been, cool. It's been very scenic. We went through cow and horse country, and now we're seeing construction on this dam, so I'm kind of glad to get over it. We're now driving through historic Fort Deposit. know nothing about it other than we're driving through it still avoiding our detour Rhonda's got a nice uh, scenic drive mm -hmm. Very cool. tips for driving in the Northeast don't if you can possibly avoid it That's exactly what oh my gosh. if you got to do it you better know what you're doing about this is the Delaware Memorial Bouncy Bridge. <laughs> We're leaving Delaware and their chemical Look, factories. A pretty bridge. Look at that. And this will be our first day at a KOA campground. Really didn't have much choice for where we're going. Jersey. Well, we're at a South Philadelphia KO, KOA campground. It's actually in New Jersey, Clarksboro. We're kind of in the back section where it's a little bit wooded. It was real quiet last night. It's nice. The guy I talked to said he's here since March working, doing painting on some big project. Wait for the camera. <laughs> so, real nice guy. Relatively level, full hookups, which is nice. Thanks for watching. And again, a special thanks to all of our subscribers. We're so glad you're with us on our journey.